And hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Uh, I want to congratulate you guys on Midnight Mass. It's a heartfelt, a, a slow burn of a thriller that gets darker and creepier as it progresses, and I'm here for it. <laughs> good, 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 Manny. <laughs> Stop it. But um, let's begin with you, Ms. Kristen. What got you, give me the genesis of what got you interested in playing the loving and protective mother, Mrs. Flynn. Oh, I was lucky enough to be asked. Um, I auditioned for this and uh, at the time it was sort of shrouded in secrecy and I kind of didn't understand it at first. I didn't know I was playing someone who was older than I actually am. Um, so I channeled my Nana and, uh, who I love very much and I was lucky enough to get the role. And then later Mike filled me in on who she was and what she meant to the story and him. And then I felt just absolutely honored to be joining this cast of incredible people and tell the story. Oh, and you miss Annabeth, <laughs> the good doctor. Um, well, uh, Dr. Sarah Gunning, it was an honor to play her. She, I think exists as a very uh, strong source of reason and um, science, and and yet also has this very emotional heart piece of the show and the story between my mother and my father. So um, it was it was a thrill, and and as Kristen said, it was just to to reunite with this tribe of actors was an honor. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you sort of mentioned it. We're not, we're not going to reveal it, but it's the big reveal. <laughs> the reveal. <laughs> but you know what? You know what, though, Miss Kristen, what I love about the show is the juxtaposition of um, different religions mm -hmm. with the supernatural. Um, do you agree with me on that? Well, certainly, obviously, also, if you're talking to us from the Filipino channel, that's a, you know, that's a really Catholic country and I have dear dear friends who are Filipinas and they are Catholic and I said to them before I did this I want to tell you I'm doing a project and I don't want it to offend you but I got to tell you I'm doing something that is that uh, blends supernatural with religion and, and the first thing they said to me is I can't believe that hasn't been done before because for them it felt very obvious and I was lucky enough for them to give me their grandmother's rosaries so that I could begin to prepare because I was not raised with any kind of religion. I was raised, raised in an atheist household. So um, for me, I got to kind of just approach it from the perspective of love. Right, right, it's all about love, you're correct. What about you, Ms. Annabeth? What, what were some of the themes? What's the main theme that speak to you the most? Mm, uh, well, you know, I think because uh, it dives into so much religious inquiry, um, it, but it really is just at the end about love. As Kristen said, it's it's about love and this, um, uh, you know. I think one of my favorite monologues is uh, is Kate's at the very end when it's about our our bodies and our souls sort of regrowing back into the earth. And I really, for me, that is something I resonate with and want to believe spiritually. So I think that is is what I take from it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely correct. It's all about love, but we'll scare you first. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We'll Loving scare you. <laughs> and there's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. <laughs> a lot of blood. Congrats again on Midnight Mass. Because of you guys, this Catholic boy will never attend the Midnight Mass. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you, Manny. Thanks, Manny. Bye. <laughs>